Now, Russia's ambassador to India, Nikolai Kudashev, has backed New Delhi's position on Jammu and Kashmir. Speaking on the sidelines of a global conclave in New Delhi, Kudashev said that Kashmir is a bilateral issue between India and Pakistan and must never be raised at the United Nations Security Council. As the uh, discussions within the uh, United Nations Security Council, Council are concerned, they haven't uh, yet read much. But, you know, we've never been in favor of bringing this issue into the United Nations agenda because in our take, this is, the, the, this is strictly bilateral matter for India and, uh, and Pakistan to discuss on the basis of Shimla, uh, of Shimla, uh, on the basis of Shimla and Lahore. Uh, and thus, in our take, it is not that, that much to discuss under the aegis of the United Nations Security Council. This is, this is our con continue, continuous, continuous position. It's well known. The ambassador also reacted on the foreign delegation's visit to Kashmir. Kudashev said that he had no doubts about the situation in the valley and that anyone who had doubts were free to visit and see for themselves. If you would ask me, I do not feel that uh, there is a reason for me to travel. You know, Kashmir, uh, well, is a, how should I say it? Uh, well, the, your decisions as far as Jammu and Kashmir are concerned, uh, this is your internal matter, belonging to constitutional space of India. This is an issue which was settled in our time some 40, 50, 60 years ago. It's not an issue in our bilateral relationship, quite frankly. We are repeating it each time, everywhere, multi multiple times, really. It, this is not an issue in our eyes. Those who believe that this is an issue, those who uh, are concerned about the situation I I in Kashmir, those who put in doubt the Indian policies in Kashmir, they could travel if they wish. They, they could see for themselves. We never put it in doubt. That's why. Weon's principal diplomatic correspondent, Sidan Sibyl, also talked exclusively to Russia's deputy envoy to India. He touched upon various issues, including the delivery of S-400 missiles and the constitutional reforms that President Putin just announced. Uh, S-400 is much talked about. Can you give us the details when India will get all the units, how many units and other details? Uh, defense cooperation is uh, one of the pillars of our strategic partnership, and S-400 so is, uh, you know, a very important deal. Um, um, it is implemented according to the to the schedule. Uh, all the issues are resolved for mutual satisfaction, including payment issue. The delivery we do expect to be completed by the year 2025, irrespective of any, <coughs> you know, um, you know, threats of sanctions, because no sanctions can. You know, impede our you know uh, cooperation. The Russian government has, uh, the Russian presence has announced a series of reforms. Uh, uh, we know what the, the development are taking place in Moscow. The government has resigned. Can you explain to our viewers what exactly is happening in Russia? Mm -hmm. So uh, recently, a couple of days before, uh, President Vladimir Putin announced uh, his proposal to change the constitution. After that, we have seen uh, that the government resigned, and uh, this is a you know clear demonstration of uh, how mature is the Russian statehood is, how mature is the Russian democracy is, which is able to adjust itself to new realities to better serve the needs and. Uh, and requirements of ordinary people, because if we uh, take a look at the presidential proposals, they are oriented at improvement of social life and, and health care and uh, childhood, you know, maternity and uh, other important and vital, you know, uh, problems and areas which will, uh, the government is working on. And that would be reflected in the change of composition and structure of the Russian government. News